What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. Recently, professors at the University of Kentucky discovered that vaccines approved by the World Health Organization are effective at protecting pregnant women along with their unborn baby. Professor Ilhelm Masoudi says that COVID is here to stay and vaccinations are the best way to protect both an unborn and born child. So we were really interested in, in doing a study primarily to gather data about um, the efficacy of the vaccine in pregnant women, but also about passive transfer of maternal antibodies to the fetus and subsequently postpartum after delivery to the infant. All of our participants got the booster. And when they did that, you can just see this huge increase in antibodies in their circulation and in the breast milk as well. I mean, it was just, it was night and day. Um, right before, you know, if you look at breast milk samples, right before they got their booster and like seven days after they got their booster, it was, it's just a huge increase in antibodies. Working alongside the Oregon Health and Science University, Ms. Saudi is glad to spread awareness of their findings. She is urging pregnant mothers everywhere to get vaccinated. It really is important to get vaccinated as soon as one can. Um, we found in our study that it didn't matter if moms got vaccinated at the beginning or the end of their pregnancy. They generated great antibody response no matter what time during their pregnancy they got vaccinated. Don't delay, get vaccinated and get the full, the, the initial shot, as well as the boosters to achieve maximal protection for both uh, the pregnant mom as well as a, the unborn child and the born child. <laughs> Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.